Okay, all right, that's a, that's a lot on mid lane. <laughs> I would say that the trap is better, but if Tundra get to play the map, can win. All right, we, hard. yeah, well, we've seen Tundra do better playing from behind now, so it's not all just down to the laning phase. It's down to game at number two. It's Liquid Tundra. Fog. Prepare for battle. Thank you very much, Matt. Looking forward to getting with you. You called it. I, I had to give you the credit. I mean, this Tim is, I think, I think <laughs> half the viewers at home as well, they were calling for it as well. I mean, you see these strength heroes come out. Third core, yeah. there's also a strength hero comes out. There's no hesitation, Timber's in the game. I gotta and, give you the credit anyway, though. Come on, you no. called it before the Tusk and everything was picked. So come on, I mean, I, your big I, brain. But, which just leads to the, the question to be, do you think Tundra were expecting <laughs> this, or did they just simply forget about the fact that Nisha could play Timber here? I mean, maybe they did just forget. Maybe they think that the Hoodwink, yeah. the break, and stuff like that'll be enough, but you can definitely it's... look at their draft and be like, they could run into some severe damage issues. They're yeah. gonna have to throw so much to kill this Timber, and then that's where Ursa can go crazy. And this, this looks like it could be a hard one here for Tundra. Disruptor, the Ursa versus the Tide, the Timber versus the Strength Cores. Let's see if Tundra can make some type of magic happen. Back. This time they don't have 33 playing this type of split pushy monster, no. where if they if the game gets kind of weird, they have some type of recovery outlet. If the game gets weird, they have to try to win through fights straight up. They've got pretty much everything covered for them. Again, Boxy with some potential incredible deals. This is what, like four games in a row that Boxy's played the Rubik? Maybe even more? Yeah, I had some nice moves though. Sure did. The battle yeah. begins. Saves as well. God. Yep. Beating. Quite a lot of damage here. The next set of axes there. I'm ecstatic! Radiance Courier has been killed. Courier! Is that? Oh, okay. Because <laughs> Boxy did the boot thing. So Boxy bought boots, ran out, did the ward thing, and then he brings his courier to bring his items afterwards. Snaking, he's like. Now. Ah, oh. Lag. What? Because this, we have had some mess up in the middle. Yes, yeah. we did have BZM, but come on. Well, we'll and it's see. also, that yeah. happened in a very specific instant. I don't want people okay, sure, to yeah, no, come on. Was, BZM was like 80 HP. Lane at... He was literally 100 HP from the start of the true, lane, true, so. True. What about this side? Then? Um, is it easy for uh, the Ursa this game down bottom or pressure? It's a very comfort lane that Tundra yeah. likes to play with. They did put a Blackstone this game though on Soxa, so I feel like Mickey, because of that, should be able to get some pretty. We see sometimes like uh, like he didn't even go stick or anything on Mickey either. Right? Maybe he'll bring one eventually, but when you're playing versus like. Hunter spamming the anchor. Fence that. This is just like we said though. This is literally like the most hundredth draft ever, right? This is what they went played with that TI multiple times, playing this like Naga Siren or CK in the safe lane with the Marana support. They've got their tied hoodwink that they've played hundreds of times as well too, and they have nine playing with it. But with what they're up against, it could <laughs> Some crazy yeah, stuff can happen. Because the, it's these first few <laughs> levels, right? Maybe mistakes are made. Watching. Ah. That's very hard. Very confident. Nine doesn't quite have his yet, so Amnesia might be able to like push him out, get potentially out. get the rune. And, and that sort of doing which the tin yeah. dies. Pass now. Timber. Unless something pain happens. Yeah, if he gets like sharded and pulled into the tower range because of the sure. shards and then snowballed, like some crazy stuff like that. But yeah, Nisha should have full freedom now in this lane. And my Order. goodness. Oh, they get this up. God, they get him. Very nicely played there. Have to take him out underneath the tower. Even without hey, Blackstone. They can go for Insane as well. Yeah, look at the both of them. Wow. There you go. 33 and Saxon. You said sort of a dead. tried and tested duo here for Tundra. I don't know. Getting these kills. Mickey, I, I honestly like keep going for the raid, but not having a stick. I feel like stick is just so valuable when you're playing versus constant anchor smash, fam. Well, will he get one next? 
Zato. I think he's gonna want to try to rush and bring a health to the battle period. Zai top. The body blocks here, Snake King. Snake Zai. Ooh. But I mean, look at top CS. It's six last hits for the CK. Skidder really struggling. 13 oh, and 7 on Zai. Beat that it, oh, mid. Oh my goodness. Top lane Skidder. They may not be getting the CS, but we'll be able to get the kill on Zai. No regen. They have a Tango running on the, each of them at the moment, but zero regen, right? Really slow start, so it's like... Oxy went hey. through. What? Again? My goodness. Fight to the death! Oh. Oh. Good oh. God! Oh. Just so clutch, these two Nisha and nine. God playing around that armor. Careful, the, the stacks of the Whirling Death nine. is painful. High skill mid lane right here. Well, no, I can do it. No, he's got raindrop now on Nisha. Ah, uh, okay, just come on. Nisha knows what to go. Well, Rune. once Nisha hits level five, I don't think we'll see them get both this low. Hot lane Skeeter. Oh, Skeeter. I, another axis in a few seconds will do it. E Unless I whip oh, some. <laughs> I mean, if he missed those axes, uh, yeah, yeah, I think he'd be out of the team. <laughs> He's not missing those. Zai gets the kill. Yeah, Skeeter. It's, it's just not been his day today. No, definitely not. And Mika now, okay, all things, you know, didn't go for the stick fill, but has to bring a health now, so he should be fine in this lane. So good aggressive play coming up from Thunder, and they do have Blightstone now on 33 attack. instead of actually on Soxa. But yeah, Skeeter really strong. And Boxy did do a bit of an interesting build too. He actually didn't get lift sure. at level two. You saw, you saw that there. He did go for the Arcane Supremacy. Just all about that damage and nuke onto the seat. Definitely hurt. Really starting to run away with that mid lane. I think that, yeah. So now it's very difficult to trade with him. So the, and he was holding point forever on Nisha there. As soon as you get six, that's where Tusk is just out of the lane. Good. It's 3 to 1, but you see that gold lead. It's actually going in Liquid's favor. All those last hits and. See, he's nice. struggling. This is a good rotation. They needed this. They've, they've got to make sure that one of these lanes they're, they're truly crushing. And, and with that rotation, that now, gets I'm my sure that seal of continues to not have a free time. Sent back to base. And he gets the last hit. Really important. He does want to make the moves. He doesn't want to play versus Nisha mid. If he does make a move, he won't. To six now, catapult gonna be cleared up, and Boxy now already making the move to play around the power rune too. Interesting how Nisha wants to play the Simba lane to the build. Yep. Will he, will he be a, a Meteor Hammer Timber fan? No, I hope not. Nine. Very level, I mean, level six there for Nisha. Uh, catch him. Uh, oh, Timber train won't hit him. Nine. You hit the DD. Chase him down and slap him down with that last. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. And Snaking though, in the meantime, since he saw this like overwhelming pressure coming toward mid, he arrowed the catapult. Very important that he actually does that. Otherwise this tower, it's probably already just going to be taken out almost. Good move from Snaking to reestablish things. I think he's like, I can't really help the CK top anymore. So, and someone's got to come mid because I don't think Nine's going to want to come back here. Yeah. Nine Double has to just look for players on the sidelines. He's got a DD, so he's got great ways to go for Zai. And he might be able to get Boxy too. Great shards. Yeah. He's able to trap him in. Oh. oh Boxy. Oh. He bottled him. Oh, my goodness. That was close there. Skeeter nearly lost his life. Sick play from Nine. Good rotation. And he bottles Skeeter between the auto attacks to keep him healed up. Yeah, honestly, not doing a lot. He had a tough matchup mid. You know, he still was able to farm in it. And now he's trying to, to make the magic attack. happen in these side lanes. Mid lane has not done. Nisha start here. He's level seven. Nobody can really. But. For the... I mean, it feels like that stick would have been pretty early, but whatever. Taking advantage of some of the stuff coming out. He goes back to mid. Gets a punch onto nine. I'm going to punch onto Nisha, but now nine. Ooh. Nice sharp play, but the glimpse will still be there. You don't get to win. Oh, I did. get to win. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Sure. See. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Soul Ring, gonna finish it up in a second. Up, oh, roar. They're over the roar. And put the Phantasm in an attempt to fight back. But he's going down. Axes are back up. He's out of the game. Phantasm on cooldown. Nine. Kills in return. He's gonna try and commit it onto Zai. Any other options he has. Yeah, can mine also get Boxy out of this? Rotation coming in from Insania. Nine chase. He gets the shards onto Boxy. Tries to tumble, but it's into the kinetic, so he can't actually tumble over that. Boxy though, there's a snowball. There's a punch. Oh, but... oh. oh. Nine. No way. No. no. Oh, he goes down. Road I mean, he's, he's really doing his best, Nine, to, to hold this game together for Tundra. He's making some pretty he's amazing moves. Moves <laughs> up and down, top and bottom. For Mappy, trying his best to, to get these cool? kills. And honestly, like, we're talking about Skeeter struggling. It, Mick is actually struggling more than him somehow. I mean, these rotations from Nine have actually done God's work. Incredible stuff coming out from him there. Catches Mick. Eh? Mick is oh. just dead. Oh. Won't be able to get him with the bushwhack. Oh, I mean, if, if he catches him there, he's absolutely dead. Is under attack. High level supports coming out on the side attack. of Liquid because they get that shot. kill, right? I think Disruptor now is about to hit level 6, so super early. But same thing for Snaking. He was sitting in the mid lane for so long, he's also hit 6 pretty early, so over leveled support. Wow. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Snaking. Dyer's middle tower is tower, under attack. Tower, I mean, Nisha just caught the wave from among that, yeah, likely to fall. Shadows, take And we see. Radiant's bottom tower Dyer's is under attack. middle tower has fallen. Start there for the timber. 5k net worth, pre 10 minutes. Looking to smoke. The nine. Drop static stone for this one. It's so early Dyer's that he has it. Both level six on the supports. Type of kills really matter when you get those like in, you get solo XP for a core kill. So Insania, because he got Dyer's that core kill top and box, he died. Attack. Yeah. Too <laughs> shabby though. 33 farming very well. CK farming much better he's, than theirs. Too. Considering for those the first few minutes of laning stage, he was getting nothing. Managed to catch up much quicker. Game of the series. says armlet. Like, honestly, he's not really slowed down. And they will get the bottom tower, so... Pushing a Vlad. Zai finishes up those Ancients. That is the Helmet Dominator finished, and he's gone into the Arcane Booth. Very farmed on Zai to build up. Had successful rotations, but his net worth is going to start getting influenced. He doesn't get it. Oh, mate. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is Blimps. under attack. He's trying. And it looks like Nisha's just going to... Maybe an eventual, so. eventual Lotus or something. Dyer's top tower okay, is under there. attack. Dyer's top tower Whip. has fallen. Towers on. Two. Wonder they want to try and find something here with this group. Shoot up a pipe. Not what I expect. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower Nag is under attack. Power rune as well too, so they'll get a haste rune. I mean, nine's getting quite a lot of them. Skinner looks to get involved a bit more. Sure, versus the timber, it's always going to be a bit difficult, but him having this good timing on this arm like, could allow him to play a bit aggressive. Versus the side of Liquid, playing around his tide, playing around his hoodwink, and Tusk, they could aggressive moves. Still have damage yeah. to deal. They just gotta avoid niche. And okay, niche. I was like pipe from mid. 
think they can just allow Sai to do his. Allies disappear. Away. Shadow. They need more. Yeah, even sharpshooter. With snaking, maybe. If they perfectly do it. Sure. With all the magic. Yeah, with the damage. three of them. But still not easy. I mean, even if you do get them, you might get turned on and loop. Can you? Not the bush left. Trees. Yes. Three, they're going to attempt to burst the timber saw. The arrow. Yes. Connection. This is not happening. They'll, they'll do it there. That's better than them. I mean, were around, but nothing they could really do to help out. Foxy will be able to TP away. That's from the trio that we talked about having the potential to take down the timber. Really nice. I mean, perfect. The ward that they had there on the left from Soxa actually sees the two supports kind of like backpedal for a second there, and then they immediate go. Dyer's middle tower is under just... attack. Honestly, just keep killing the timber saw. Yeah. He's definitely going to shut down one of the stronger. Draft. Six, four, and two. Everywhere yeah. on the map. I, of course, low on the farm because of the amount of time that's just spent sort of running at heroes, but absolutely necessary to set the game into position for the other course to farm. Bottom, hey, bottom. It's not time round is going to be a bit more complicated going on to Nietzsche. Nietzsche is able to turn. Oh, and Skeeter. Get the glimpse back. Excellent catch here attack. from Insania. Will mean that Skeeter's going down. I mean, a bit ambitious there for, for Skeeter to try and set up onto the timber. They didn't have the follow-up required this time, and they're sort of split on the targets that they're going for. And it's so close to the tower too, right? This time a bit of an overzealous one. Right there. Insania might get another grab. And Nietzsche's able to head in, get the setup for the vision. The drag back. You monster! Cut! 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 Cut!
though, in a difficult position this game because of this timber saw. Struggle. Yeah, we saw 33. It's the itemization. Great pack to deal with uh, physical damage from the beast. They go BKB to deal with the disruptor. Nine. She's in on top of the 33. And they get caught in a static storm. Now leave no chance for any sort of ravager or anything in response immediately. And he won't even get a chance after they do it. The damage from this timber to kill him off. Oh, oh, the static storm comes to an end. And over in the river, Mickey, he cleans up Saxa. And look rough for Tundra. The prize they just can't is deal with this overwhelming pressure that the timber is really providing. Level 13, he's just walking at heroes and forcing things. Trying on him here. Yes. Misha, yeah. the Aegis. Get back for round two and already the rest of the kind of sweeping in from the side. I'm not quite able to find a raw target straight away. Tundra dot back in threes. They'll get out. Good kill. Radiance Curry. Everybody, I, I was really killed. scared for them for a second there. Wrap around from Liquid looked good. She finds a courier kill. Dyer's that was with his uh, phantasm. Nice. TK, we see Skitter. He is going to start getting overpassed here from Mickey, who's just yeah, he's been farming and farming Dyer's and farming after that up lane. He is slowly yeah, pulling up. He's three net worth now. So he's got a fury. I think timing's going to be pretty good. And he's level 13, so still very high level. Okay. Keeping up with the timber. We're, we're, we're going to see Skitter try and get involved with the smoke. He has smoke. to. Items, he fighters a CK. Trying to take any advantage of like downtime, at least on Static Storm or something. The static Storm is back up in eight seconds. And they want to try and get a chance to use the Ravage. Find that sort of opportunity this game. Zai. Way. Radiant are scanning. Dagger on the roof. No, he's got to be careful. Oh, yeah. Box, he might get that steal. Really good spells. He... I mean, it's like, for tons the save. of spells. Yeah, he could get yeah. like, tons of saves and stuff. Side, we did see, I think, Saxa. And stuff. Like that. Okay. The Ravage. Fuck the Ravage. It's stolen. To get in on top of Insania. Is he even able to kill the Disruptor? Oh, no There's going to be the glimpse in time. Insania is going to be able to walk away from him. Oh, God. And now Boxy has Ravage for the fight, too. May, it may have indeed been better if we still were sort of waiting to see a Ravage. First one coming out from 33. It's definitely going to do more harm than good. That is for damn sure. Really run away with things. Glyph not available now, too. They could look for a tier two. They can set up this push boxing. They, they should know that he has this Ravage. Super hard for them to go for any type of play. I mean, Skitter, if he jumps in, it's just die. Try and force high ground here. I think you can, that poke. I think you can maybe scanning. poke and force back, but they want to just sweep them out. Okay. See so I mean, if they can get the kill bottom. They know how to play, so they're probably like, they're going to be playing in the attack. side. They're going to be playing in the trees and stuff like that. Radiant's bottom tower they might is under fall. attack. But either way, they forced them back anyway. Less risky. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. Who wants to use it? Second. Bring the squad. Even Nisha now TPing up. Expecting more heroes. Go in. the rotation liquid is sweeping very quick they ran bottom pushed them out of the bottom lane run immediately toward top try to get some type of wrap around here Ursa is now top net worth though for fashion recovery has been made massively i mean the cause of tundra just not been able to keep up no nope. uh about one and a half k gold behind each of their counterpart not being able to farm right now, and it's going to get harder for him to do so as well. Because insane, he, he's already picked up the gem, so the the map's going to start getting shut down. Absolutely, and they have they have Beastmaster, right? So the Hawk Vision's always going to be there to find under playstyle. A lot of people hate to watch, but this is they, they have to try to find something to recover. And Liquid's just going to chase them. They throw oh. Ravage, and we'll clip onto Snaking. But he's he just wanted to use it. Did he have left long left on the Ravage? Don't think so. Well, now the problem when that happens, though, is now when you, you do steal it again afterward. That is true. It's a little bit of rough, so. But I, I, I mean, I would imagine that is really extra careful to not let it get stolen. I'll try and get the jump on the Rubik. Not going to be easy, though, without any blink it at is, the positioning. Yeah. 
obsess out there approaching the fight. And he's got the Eye of Vizier too. Fight. So, got that long cast range. Spell steals. And he's level 12. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Completely caught back. Massive. Okay. Focus fire any targets and go back to the feet. Go back to that BKB. Very comfortable position that they've. Radiant are scanning. And instantly, look at this. I mean, the sweet play. Liquid, they run bottom, force heroes out. TP top, they're ready to fight. They're expecting Tundra to be up here. Fast moves. Timing on all the. Getting pretty close to triple. Dyer's bottom liquid. tower. Tundra. Is under They'll have attack. one finished. Oil the joints. 733s Sharpen as well. Then. More potent, especially Ravage. They have perfect read exactly where to circle drawn up. Like, yep, everyone's up there. They're looking for a wraparound play here. They're still smoked on the side of Liquid. Is under attack. Radiance Courier this has been ability. killed. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Die. Die. He just walks in with BKB. And we'll get the roar off. Skittle down with the BKB. Stops any more magical damage, but under attack. the Ursula gets in on top of him now. Having to back off the static from there. Can really the BKB step in. Big out with the Ravage. Catching the Ursa, catches the Beastmaster. Skeeter doesn't want to get cut down oh. by Nisha, though. Die. It's going to be protected as well as Bunch has been able to get the bushwhack off, holding 33 back. Dyer's able to throw out another set of axes. Finally, Paul taking out two turns, but they're also boxy. They take out the three at the bottom size back. Knows that Nisha's still going to be strong for this fight. Tundra, they get three kills. They can get out of this with the rest of them. They'll probably be all right with this one. Nisha trying to get the vision here. How close are the glimpse? Catch that glimpse onto 33. He slows there with the chakra. So it, close. I mean, another connection, and it should be it's enough. And there it is. Chase of Nisha able to make I'm sure that Seni can get that glimpse off. I told you to stop getting blood on liquid, my Liquid, they will still end up being the side coming out top there. A decent punch from Tundra. You know, this time around, a, a good ravage, setting up for the two yeah, core kills. Scanning. Uh, but uh, overall, Liquid, they're still the ones cleaning up, and of course, yeah, still very much a problem that don't seem to have an answer. They have to commit so much to kill. I mean. They have to either kill, commit everything to kill a Timber or commit everything to kill the Ursa. This time it's the Ursa. A good fight though overall, I would say, from Tundra. I think the BKB maybe caught them off guard on the side of Liquid because they static stormed the Tide Hunter. Then he pops BKB and gets a good positioning on top of the Ursa. Deficit? Tundra, you're probably okay with that fight. It's certainly but, something. Yeah, it's certainly something. And now I think that gives nine, especially now too, a BKB. So they will have triple, triple BKB timing on Tundra. Well, not bad, but it is now a Roshan. Yeah, Rosh is up. And without the Ravage, likely that uh, Tony was going to put it together around the Rosh pit. Then! A lot more than... This is going to be that shard as well, too. A pretty big one for Mickey. Potentially cover him versus that big explosion that'll happen in the fight. Roshan now has fallen to the Radiant. Snaking buys himself a gem. Oh, nine. Oh, yeah, we'll pull that BKB out. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I need to get Ravage back up and fifth playing into this game. More complicated for the next five minutes. And nine, he has to be very careful with positioning now. 70 seconds or so. If he gets caught inside of a kinetic static storm, likely does to drop. Radiant him. They're actually pinging out Skitter down bottom. They have this. Three vision right on top of him. The kick can just go. Waiting for his teammates to get a little bit closer, but yeah. Especially after you see the, the Phantasm right. getting split. He knows it's oh. very, very safe to go and take him down. They get him, and he also did pop oh. the BKB hey. moments before he died there, so another charge down the drain for Skeeter. And Boxy, he's looking for more. Okay. Count on. Peace. Fine. Be safe. Dyer's bottom Drag tower back is under attack. Delivery, Nisha gets it. Aghanims is out. And the Ursa, I believe that's BKB now for Mickey, so unlikely that they can do what they did last time for the first. 
off that BKB. And look at this, they're setting up for top. They see 33, the shenanigans he's doing with the three pulls and stuff like that. Should be out of the He didn't BKB. He, that was whoopsie. Very greedy of him to try and attempt it without the BKB being prepped. Got it. He's gonna kill Insania for it. He's like, alright, you stop my TP, I'll make you pay sure. for it. Medium but he's, uh, he's a TP down, a PKB down, a Ravage down, and a, and a life down. He's out for 50 seconds. You've got I'm so happy with that as Insania. I mean, you just been, made magic happen. Yeah, you, you just got everything out of the tide. Yeah. I mean, they bred him so well, right? The wards that they placed, they saw him going for this, like, cutting and all these shenanigans. 33 did not expect the disrupt to no, be there. He, he thought it was just gonna be one of them. Yep. Still at this point, gang, no, they're still like that. Top, so Liquid, they have pretty easy access to them. They're, playing, they're literally just playing like the sweep game. They're just like, okay, good luck trying to get away from us. They keep. Yeah. Shadows. Take Crossing us. his fingers, 33, hoping that it was just Nisha, but it was not. Look at him smiling and saying, he's like, he's actually going to ravage me. Like, oh my oh, God. He, he he's having a great time there. <laughs> he's got the biggest smile. Of course. I mean, you, you're five position banning a ravage. Go! Just, yeah, he got everything out of 33. Like now, Tundra cannot fight. Right? They, they, they're desperately needing ravage for any type of chances in fights. 80 seconds, they got to just run away from Liquid. Anytime they see anyone. And nine. Wait. Dyer are scanning. He thinks at the roar. Back up now. Skitter, he is seen again. Oh god. He's pretty deep. He is I mean they're ramming he, him. He can't he be kept TP. TP. There's a roar. So, so the state of the game, you know, he's feeling that he has to go out in his dangerous spot, Skeeter. This this has to be one of the. I mean, they're, they're putting all the pressure onto him. They're chasing him constantly, but. Right. Nice. Maybe that's back him up. We'll be able to take out Insania. Taking out Saxon. He's going to be ready to try and chase for more. See if they can close in upon Nine. They can. They're in with the bash. Nine will put the BKB. Won't save him from the Zersa. Double kill. Or triple kill for Mickey. In fact. Roll in. Mickey once again having a game. He's just at the top, and there's no stopping him. And he had a tough start, right? Like, he got killed times very early in the game, but they have set him up for success afterwards with all these rotations, just giving him full free farm with how aggressive they've really played on the side Radiant of Nisha. Austin. And Nisha's only died the once, 9-1. and one. And look at this, they have the ward bottom, they see the Tidehunter before he even gets to the wave. They're immediate, immediately running at him. I mean, Tundra is just... I mean, nobody they can get do away anything. from this, yeah, especially Nurse with the DD. Okay, but with the well, Moonlight Shadow. Fair there. enough. <laughs> Snake King, able to help from across the map. That, that's, the, that's the one way you live against this Ursa good looking solo moves. Tundra, I, they've got no space on the map. Well, you can tell how desperate they are to try to find any type of arm. And, but they're just, yeah, they're playing the sweep game. They're just sending the Hawk to one side. They're clearing out people out of bottom lane. They're running top, clearing the rats out of the top lane too. Oh, yeah. continuous, continuous pressure. And uh, Zai, all three cores are just so farmed. I have as a full assault curse. Go. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Smoke, they rip, they're trying. Dyer's bottom tower Dyke. has fallen. Prize at the Ravage, but. Damage? I think they have damage maybe to kill one they of the cores. They could one hero. But Ravage that's about it. Sort of sharpshooter and Skeeter getting on top of the Phantasm, but maybe getting one kill. They need, like, literally I, the most perfect fight ever yeah, to bring I, down I, more than one core. I mean, I don't think that kill will ever be needed. No, uh, I don't think so. I think so. you're past the point of, of it's Timber. Walks right into them. He just goes. They have the Hawk vision of everybody. Three, put the BKB. Okay, we can also use TB and... Not, yeah, not a bad disengage there from... Sal. But it's literally just them having to run away. I'm trying to think of a point where it starts to feel a little bit better, where they're actually able to take any of these fights, but they're just falling so far behind the Tusk. As we know for this hero as a mid lane, even though Nine has done, honestly, he did some really good work with his rotations, he's really falling further and further. He didn't go, for, he of course couldn't go for the Deso build, so his damage is very lackluster. They, they just don't have. 
intense game to be able to fight as well. Last game, they had the meet going. 33, the split push plays. And hey, how are you going in this Harry himself. It's so much harder to do that with the draft that they have this time. Time playing in behind. The nature of Pretty helpless. This game. And the CK, right? Just overall, the game for the CK, especially when Earth is big, and you're playing versus Timber. When are you going to be able to actually utilize Phantasm? When are you actually going to be able to kind of do anything on the CK? Dyer's structures. Mid lane are starting to get pushed very hard from Zion. From the back of the Moonlight Shadow, they will be able to jump in and burst Insania. Okay. Ravage as well. Okay. Out the bear. And Mickey. Hit the ult off. And the BKB's just come back on cooldown. Oh, God. So Mickey is able attack. to stand his ground and turn a little bit. He'll look towards 33. 33 having a retreat with his own BKB. Peter. I mean, they went for him there. It was kind of the, the only opportunity they've they've had really to go for Mickey in those sort of circumstances. That they were close. They were so close, but he's able to get the ult off. The BKB comes back off cooldown, Dyer's and the kill's just not happening anymore. Yeah, Foxy, that's the gem. Didn't even pick it up. Yeah, they has fallen. Mid racks. It's gone down. I think that's game. Dyer's he cannot focus fire much of anybody. Nisha, he's in. One Soxa. Dyer's middle barracks has fallen. Infinite. Two sets very likely to go fall. down. Alright. Radiance top tower. Take these buildings in no time. Dyer's this this game too, it just. I, I, I would be really interested barracks. to know, you know, if, if they did sort of barracks. just overlook the top tower. Yeah, I feel like it's. Oh my god, Insania has found 33. No, there's very much been many, many other issues up in the timber, but it, it really was sort of the nail in the coffin. Absolutely attack. agree. I mean, Insania has just Dyer's been an absolute... Top tower is under attack. Died a bunch, Dyer's but well worth it. He's got six deaths, but he's just toying with them. I mean, look at him. Playing with 33. Well, Megas. Radiant are scanning. Dyer's gone. top tower has fallen. 33 can't get back to base. I said he's just teasing them. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. The next move. Dyer's nice. jumps in. Has fallen. Yeah, I mean, Farewell. what's insane is playing around with 33 and the back of the base. The rest of Tundra, uh, they, they've got no hope here. Yeah, it's over. GG is cool. Liquid, wow. they'll take this game too. Series, it's theirs. Two to zero. Uh, yeah, then this game too. This one really did feel over. <laughs> and look at 33 rates, nice speed to Insania, but we all know who actually won the battle this time around. Insania all smiles, cross on Liquid. Yeah, like you said, I mean, you called it from the draft.